Mark, just from a legal standpoint, can you explain, I mean, Alec Baldwin was a producer on the film as well as an actor in it. If he wasn't a producer, I don't know if, I mean, does have, being the producer, does that add a level of legal responsibility potentially here? Yeah, I think actually it might. Remember that involuntary manslaughter, which is what they're charged with, is not an intent crime. It is a crime of negligence. A couple of ways that you can do it on, on no, I'm sorry, New Mexico law. One is to commit a unlawful act, like a misdemeanor, not a felony, fireworks that cause a death. That could be involuntary manslaughter. The other way is to do a lawful act. Let's just say that using that gun in that scene was, quote, lawful, but doing it without proper contemplation and caution. And that's where the strength of the state's case is going to go. Even though they're aggressive charges, they're going to say, look, a gun is a dangerous instrumentality. We know that. And you have to presume that it's loaded. And if you didn't do everything you should have done, that's not enough caution. And he could find himself with a conviction on an involuntary manslaughter. But Mark, even if you have people who are supposedly experts, uh, uh, the armor on the set handing you the gun and the assistant director saying it's, it's, you know, it's safe to use. And that's his defense. The defense is, look, movies are artificial to begin with. We make believe that they're war. We make believe that there's gunfights. We make believe that I'm hitting you with a knife. And we are supposed to do this, and I rely on professionals. That's going to be the cornerstone of their defense. But under the law, like she said, even an actor, you have to have that caution, that circumspection to make sure that if you're going to have a gun in your hand, an undeniable weapon um, that could cause injury, you have the personal responsibility to be cautious with it, not to rely on somebody else.